Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jamie Iris Talk TV where I will bring you travel updates and at the same time other relevant information that can help you personally and professionally that will definitely be great to talk about and discuss so that at least it can help you. At the same time, I am bringing to you travel updates and tutorials that can help you when you're traveling either back to the Philippines or back to the country where you will be working so everyone today we will be discussing about the baggage policies and baggage allowance for emirates airlines so a lot of you i believe travels with this middle east carrier so this is actually one of the airlines or major airlines of united arab emirates so let us find out more about the emirates baggage allowance policies <music> Now, for Emirates baggage allowance policy for the checked in baggage. Now, all of the information that I will be sharing to you, I use the Emirates website as a reference. So, if you want to visit the website of Emirates, that will be https dot slash slash www.emirates.com. Now, for free baggage allowance, this is based either on the total amount of the weight or the, what we call when we're using the weight concept or on how many pieces of luggage you have. And that is what we call the piece concept. Now, it depends on the country you will be traveling from. Then at the same time, the, uh, the country that you will be traveling to, now they can either use the weight concept or the piece Concept. Now, these are the generic rules and guidelines for baggage allowance on Emirates flights. Now, to check your baggage rules specific to your journey, like how much baggage will cost, so you can visit the Manage Your Booking from the said website of Emirates. Now, let's first discuss the weight concept. Now, when we say weight concept, it applies to all routes, except when you travel to and from Americas and Africa. You can check in as many bags as you like, up to the weight allowance for your travel class. Now, each individual bag must not weigh more than 32 kg and should not exceed the total dimensions length within height of 118 inches or 300 centimeters. In my other video regarding another airline company, when we talk about baggage allowance, please always remember, this is an international protocol or what we call general rule when it comes to luggage. Now, luggage... Uh, should not be exceeding 32 kg in weight. Why? This is for the safety of those people who will actually carry and transfer your bag from one place to the other. But at the same time, this is also for your safety. Why? Anything that is beyond 32 kgs, if you actually lift it, there's a big possibility that you can damage your back. So to prevent any injuries from your back, and of course, the people who are working at the airport, uh, when it comes to their back, then they have to ensure that the weight of each bag should not be exceeding 32 kgs. And did you notice that every time if your bag will be weighing like 32 kg, they will always place a tag that it is heavy and they will place like how, how much is the amount or what is the weight of the luggage so that the person who will be carrying it will actually be aware of that. Now, the reason I'm sharing this to you as an airline trainer, so I worked for an airline company, for a five-star airline company for five and a half years as their trainer. So we're very particular not only to train them with service standards, but also safety because safety is given utmost priority for every airline company. Now, let us just take a look. What if... Okay, your bag exceeds this limit. Like, for example, it's more than 32 kg. Then, therefore, the limit, uh, if it exceeds the limit, you will not be allowed to carry such a weight and they will ask you to remove it from your bag, either transfer it if you are willing to pay for it, but you have to have another bag, you know, for you to carry that because you cannot carry more than 32 kgs per luggage. Now, let's talk about economy class. 
you can actually book any of the following special saver flex or flex plus now if you book special you will have 20 kg or 25 kg for flights between uae and india if you book saver then you will have 25 kg or 30 kg for journeys originating australia and new zealand for tickets issued on and after november 26 2019 and if you are or you booked flex then you will have 30 kg for for Flex Plus, on the other hand, you will have 35 kg. For business class, everyone, you can actually carry with you. You have an allowance of 40 kg. And at the same time, for first class, it will be 50 kg. Just like what we've discussed, since 32 kg is the maximum per luggage. If you have the business class and first class luggage allowance, then you can use an up to two pieces of luggage with a total number of kgs or kilograms as allowed for the business class and first class. Now, how about the peace concept? When we talk about the peace concept, this applies to flights to and from the Americas and Africa. Now, this means that the luggage total dimension, length, width, and height should not exceed 150 centimeter up to maximum of 300 centimeter or 118 inches. So again, each piece must not exceed this limit that we have just mentioned. Now, if an individual item has total dimensions greater than 300 centimeters or 118 inches, it cannot be checked in as baggage and will therefore need to be sent as a cargo or freight. Now, let us just take a look. Baggage allowances to and from the Americas in Africa accept flights within the Americas and between U.S. and Europe. So economy class, you will have what we call, if you book special, you'll have one piece up to 23 kg. If you book safer, flex, flex plus, then you'll have two pieces up to 23 kg each. So you can see which one you can actually buy and purchase. And at the same time, you can maximize, especially if you're a heavy traveler, meaning, you know, you have a lot of things and you usually buy a lot of things. So you can decide whether you prefer special or I think Saver Flex and Flex Plus really will work well for you. Now, how about business class? No, do you, they are entitled or you will be entitled for two pieces up to 32 kg each. And for first class, two pieces up to 32 kg each. Now, baggage allowance for flights within the Americas and between U.S. and Europe, for them, the economy class will also have the same packages. Special Saver, one piece up to 23 kg. Flex Flex Plus, two pieces up to 23 kg. And for a business class, similar. So that will be two pieces up to 32 kg. And first class, two pieces up to 32 kg. If your trip from Australia, New Zealand, or Asia to North or South America includes a stopover in Dubai that is longer than 24 hours, then, or it could also be a sector in Europe, then the weight concept will apply for your entire ticketed journey. So, anong ibig sabihin po nito? Kung sakasakali ang iyong biyahe is from Australia, New Zealand, or Asia, papunta po ng North or South America, now, it means that if this includes when you stop over in Dubai that is not longer than 24 hours, so what will be applicable for you between peace and weight concept for your luggage will be the weight concept po. And this will be applicable for your entire ticketed journey. So it means that if you have the full ticket, so going back and forth, so that this applies to this. And, and if you're traveling into Africa with a stopover of more than 24 hours, the weight concept still may apply. Now, how about the hand carry or the cabin baggage, which is usually the let us just say the concern of most balikbayans and an OFWs and of course the OFWs, right? So let us just take a look. For economy class, you'll have a total of 7 kilograms. Carry-on dimension should not exceed 55 times 38 times 20 centimeters. Now, if you will be traveling business and first class, then 7 kg carry-on plus 7 kg briefcase or garment bag, those are allowed. Now, briefcase may not exceed 45 by 35 by 20 centimeters. Handbag may not exceed also 55 by 38 by 20 centimeters. Now, garment bags can be no more than 20 centimeters thick when folded. Now, 
These are the reminders that we have in case you'll be traveling with your cabin baggage or hand carry and whatever classes you may choose and package from Emirates Airlines. Now, how about for parents who are traveling with infants or guardians? Now, one cabin bag not exceeding 22 by 15 by 8 inches or 55 by 38 by 20 centimeters of a maximum of 5 kg. You're permitted to bring one carry cot car seat or fully collapsible stroller now if there is no space for these items in the cabin they will be checked and they will be considered as checked in baggage up to 10 kg now for all the things or for all the flights departing from brazil customers can carry up to 10 kg of cabin baggage for customers boarding in india you're allowed to only carry one piece of carry-on baggage and the size of the carry-on baggage must not exceed 115 centimeters length width and height now, please note everyone, different rules may apply if you have an interline flight or flights that are on the same ticket as your Emirates flights but are operated by another airlines. Like for example, Emirates flight usually starts with EK. Now, if you're an Emirates Sky Wards Platinum, gold or silver member, you could also enjoy extra baggage allowance on routes that you use the weight concept. Now, when traveling on peace concept, routes on Emirates flights only, Emirates Skywards, Platinum, and gold members are eligible for one additional piece of checked baggage at 23 kg per piece in economy and 32 kg per piece in business class and first class as well, over and above the ticketed limit. Now, how about excess baggage fees? I know there's quite a lot of you who are thinking, oh no, I feel that my uh, luggage is full of things and it might have exceeded already or might exceed the luggage allowance. So if in case it does exceed everyone, I want you to prepare for it so that you can prioritize and not actually spend extra on baggage fees. But... If you really need to bring those additional items, so therefore, you have to be prepared for this. From Middle East or Asia, that would be $15 per kg. Africa, $25. Far East, $25. And Europe, $25. And Australia and New Zealand, $40 also per kg. And then for Middle East or South Asia, they do have $25, $30 for Africa, for East is $15, Europe is $30, and our, yes, and Australia and New Zealand will be $30. For Europe, on the other hand, okay, so it will be mid, for Middle East and South Asia, that will be $25. Africa will be $30. For East will be $30, and Europe will be $15, as well as Australia and New Zealand will be $50. If we're traveling from or to Australia and New Zealand, then Middle East and South Asia will cost $40. Africa will be $50. Far East will be $30. Europe will be $50. And Australia and New Zealand, $15. Remember, you may get a 50% up to 60% on the check-in amounts if you buy the luggage in advance or the baggage allowance in advance. Now, discounts are made available only up to four hours before departure online or at our retail and contact centers. Now, you may also uh, buy extra baggage allowance in the blocks of 5 kgs, up to a maximum of 50 kg. Now, how about the additional piece? Now, the weight allowance for each additional piece is 23 kg, whether in economy class and 32 kg, on the business class and first class. Now, from and to, if you're coming from the Middle East, Southeast Asia, that would be $200. Africa will be $200. Far East will be $250. Europe will be $200. And Australia and New Zealand will be $250 plus the Americas of $200. Now, if coming from America to its destination, Middle East or South Africa will be $225. And then Africa will be $200. Far East will be $250. Europe will be $100. And Australia and New Zealand will be $250. As well as Americas will again be $100. Now for Canada, Middle East and uh, South Africa. So if you're coming from the Middle East or South Asia, so $280 Canadian dollars. 
Africa will be 250 Canadian dollars, 300 do Canadian dollars for the Far East and for Europe, it will be 125. For Australia and New Zealand, it will be uh, CAD 300 and Americas will be CAD 125. Now, you can get discount up to 35 to 50% on the check-in amount if you buy the baggage allowance in advance. I actually had used that before. It was quite convenient. Now, discounts are only available up to four hours before departure or online or at our retail and contact centers. Now, you can purchase up to five additional pieces of baggage on top of the standard allowance of for your ticket. So everyone, uh, those are the basic baggage allowance for Emirates Airlines. Are you flying very soon? Looking forward to this video actually can help you, especially if you're flying with Emirates. So if you have not to subscribe to my channel, I'm inviting you to please subscribe to my channel. And if you find this video helpful, please click like and subscribe to my channel. With that, everyone, this is Jamie Ayer simply saying God bless you and Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you.